In previous videos, I introduced the story of Princess Grace of Monaco. Today, I will tell you the story of her eldest daughter, Princess Caroline of Monaco. Princess Caroline was born in 1957. Her mother was the renowned Hollywood actress Grace Kelly, and her father was the reigning Prince of Monaco at the time, Rainier III. The marriage between Grace Kelly and the Prince of Monaco was one of the grandest weddings of the 20th century, and there was great anticipation for the arrival of their first child, Princess Caroline, who was born a year after their marriage. She grew up in a lavish palace, and some might say that children like her are born with a silver spoon in their mouths. Indeed, the princess did grow up in opulent surroundings, but as she grew older, she felt that her childhood memories were filled with sadness. Princess Caroline claimed that she never felt close to her mother, Grace Kelly, who dedicated her life to royal duties and entrusted the upbringing of her children to a nanny. The princess later revealed that she didn't even want to sit down for a meal with her parents until she was 14 years old. She said that their nanny, Maureen Wood, was one of the most significant adults in her childhood. When we're little, we may be closer to our nannies than our parents, Caroline once said. Her relationship with her brother, Albert, with their nanny was incredibly close, to the extent that once when the nanny intended to go on vacation, she and her brother begged her tearfully to stay. When Caroline was eight years old, the family welcomed their third child, Princess Stephanie. As is often the case in large families, the mother tends to focus her attention on the youngest child. Therefore, Grace Kelly and her eldest daughter Caroline did not establish a trusting relationship. Grace Kelly also couldn't persuade her eldest daughter not to marry Philippe Junot at the age of 21, a marriage that later officially ended in divorce. Philippe Junot was a French venture capitalist and real estate developer, 17 years Caroline's senior, with a reputation for philandering. Grace knew Philippe was not a suitable match for her daughter and opposed the marriage, but Caroline decided to proceed, and the Monaco royal family had to accept her decision. In 1978, Caroline and Philippe Junot had a grand wedding celebration. The event was attended by 650 guests, including many famous Hollywood stars such as Ava Gardner and Cary Grant. Princess Caroline wore a gorgeous white wedding dress adorned with a diamond tiara, radiating extraordinary splendor. The wedding festivities lasted for two days, beginning with a civil ceremony and concluding with a religious ceremony. Grace Kelly's concerns seemed to be justified. After just two years of marriage, the couple divorced, without having any children. In 1992, the Catholic Church officially annulled the princess's marriage. Caroline hinted at familial pressure forcing her into marriage, saying, everything happened too quickly. Since I was little, everyone wanted me to get married. Princess Caroline found love again in 1983, just a year after Grace Kelly's death. She married an Italian businessman, Stefano Casiraggi. Due to Caroline's previous divorce not being annulled, the couple couldn't have a traditional Catholic wedding. Instead, they held a civil ceremony in the mirror room of the palace, which was simple and intimate, attended only by close family members. Princess Caroline was already three months pregnant at the time. A palace spokesperson stated after the 15-minute civil ceremony, happiness has returned to this family, despite some recent personal tragedies. It was a period of blissful matrimony. Their first son, Andrea, was born in 1984. Two years later, they welcomed their daughter, Charlotte, and another year after that, their youngest son, Pierre, was born. Princess Caroline finally found happiness in her family, but this happiness only lasted for seven years. In 1990, Stefano, aged just 30, tragically died in a powerboat racing accident. Following this, Caroline decided to retreat with her children to a villa in saint remy de provence France, to escape the public scrutiny and gossip. In 1997, rumors surfaced that Princess Caroline was romantically involved with Prince Ernst August of Hanover. However, this relationship sparked controversy because Prince Ernst August was still married to his wife at the time, with whom he had two sons. After he divorced his former wife, Princess Caroline married him in 1999. That same year, Princess Caroline gave birth to her fourth child, Princess Alexandra of Hanover. After marriage, Princess Caroline was granted the title of Princess of Hanover. To this day, 
Caroline and Prince Ernst August maintain their marital status, although they have not been living together since 2009. Reports suggest that they have been leading separate lives with limited communication. Caroline moved back to Monaco, distancing herself from their family castle in southern Paris. While the exact reasons for their separation have never been disclosed, it is purported that the prince's alleged infidelity contributed to the split. Despite facing romantic setbacks, Princess Caroline has devoted much of her life to charitable endeavors. Following the death of her mother, Grace Kelly, Princess Caroline assumed the role of First Lady of Monaco, overseeing organizations such as the Red Cross and the Princess Grace Foundation. However, her responsibilities changed with the marriage of her brother, Prince Albert, to Charlene Whitstock. In 2011, she was relieved of many of her duties. Like many members of the Grimaldi family, Princess Caroline has not found happiness in love. Some attribute this to the supposed curse that has plagued the family since the 13th century. Clearly, even with royal titles and opulent palaces, true love remains crucial for a fulfilling life.